This morning when I woke up and went for a walk, it was so cool that I thought, I wish I had a little long sleeve. But you're here because it it's like Hawaii. It's, yeah, yes. it's warm and humid. Kathy and Esau. He's Hawaiian, but they're moving here from the Northwest, Oregon. I'm freezing in Oregon. <laughs> I have arthritis. We've always been told to move to Nevada or Arizona, and it's dry there. They don't want dry heat. We got all the wet heat you can stand. And more. And more, and then some. Yeah. You thirsty? Walk outside. The Fukuda sent pictures. Of, of the style that they love. And it is very hobbitish. I like hobbit. I like fairy tale. I mean, if it had a round door, I wouldn't even have to look at another house. But also, they want historic southern charm in a house and have a budget of 200000 to make it all happen. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be awesome. Let's talk about the Odom house here. Oh. OK, so this is an 1875 Victorian. And it's the Odom house because Mildred and Woodrow Odom bought the house in 1948 and then lived here for almost 50 years. She ran Tom's Drive-In. That's cool. Yeah. It's three bedrooms, three baths, 1,800 square feet. And they're asking 65000 for it. It's pretty. I like yeah. that thing on top. It's a Victorian home. And it probably originally had more of that. I like the porch. The porch I is really too. cool. Well, <laughs> I want to show you what it would look like as the Fukuda house. Oh, wow. that's pretty. You like it? Lovely. I do. Very nice. A Victorian house typically has lots of vibrant color. Something the color of a pair of old blue jeans. The thing I don't love about this house, the columns look really chintzy. And what I would like to do is actually make new columns. That's perfect, because those look like sticks. Here's the living room. Yes. What's that on the ceiling? The Acoustic tile right now. Yeah, we'd pull it down because there's a beat board up there. And I want to get the fireplace working again. It'd be so pretty. And refinishing the floors. You can see the original floor in the foyer. So this get is real, but just real fake. Real yeah, fake. This is real fake. Yep. Yeah. And then in the dining room, you can see there the ceiling's lower. Yeah. So we would want to move it up into the attic. You almost hit your head. Yeah. Very low. And then this light is a very. <laughs> I mean, a dinner table light should be lower, but this is extreme. That's extreme. Right. Yeah. So. Here's the kitchen. I love that stove. It's a cool stove. The and problem we found with like, we'll see a cool vintage stove and it's beautiful and we wish we could keep it, but then like the electrical liability of it. Sure, bad, bad, bad. Is a Fire. little scary. Do you like the uh, stainless mm -hmm. countertops? I do, I should It's have spray paint it. They're not on stainless. wood. <laughs> so bedroom, not a lot of stuff changes in here, but it's all a little awkward, the layout. Bathroom, sort of a hallway, and then laundry. Yeah. Okay. So if we lose this wall and in the hallway nook thing, then you get to have all of that real estate for your bathroom. So then we could have a really great double vanity against this wall. Then that laundry room becomes a closet and laundry room once we close off that door to the dining oh, room. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> like I wish <laughs> I could just like fold laundry and then yeah, no it baskets. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got fireplace. You got your bathroom, and then. On the mornings when it's nice outside, you want to go outside and have a cup of coffee? Perfect. Perch. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whose style is the whimsical, hobbity Me. you? Yeah. OK. Yeah. It's not really your style, but I think we could bring that in with yeah. the furnishings and the way we style the house. And everything that we're talking about doing here would be at about $115,000. So the house as a whole would come in around $180,000. Yeah. Good. Okay. So this is the Hughes house. Ada and Urban Hughes built the house in 1938. Then they lived here for like 40 years afterwards. It's three bedrooms, two baths, 1,900 square feet, and it's listed for $40,000. I like the brick. Yeah? Yep. I like the entrance, too. I like these pathways. I do, too. Leading to All this the brick is beautiful. A lot of it. <laughs> sort of hobbity. It's sort of hobbity. Yeah. The color. Yeah. Not so much. So speaking of hobbity, this lot. It's one of the biggest lots in the whole historic district. Here's what I think. Oh, that's adorable. That's you like beautiful. It? I love the green. It's my favorite color. Just kind of a deep, dark English green oh, and a gorgeous. cream color on all the trim. I just want it to feel more like a storybook cottage. Something you would see in the English countryside. Because oh, that is perfect. The house is just so beautiful. It's just got it's got some bad color going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Well, it's horrific. It smells like a pet shop inside. There's no flooring. There's rot. It just kind of basically feels like you're in a horror movie set. Okay, so are you interested in seeing more? Oh, yes. We... Well, so okay. this is the living room, yes. first off. I mean, you got this big empty wall. Wouldn't it be great if you had a fireplace? Yes, it would be per perfect. So we add a fireplace on this wall. Those horrible pane glass sliding windows look like they're about to fall out. They're so bad. We would want to come in with a whole wall of windows and one door that swings out open oh, into cool. this amazing backyard. And uh, the den stays a den. Yes, newer, better version of itself. <laughs> yes. And it would be about 15 grand. Okay. So have an open mind. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's the kitchen. 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 It's not a kitchen. That's a kitchen. Wow. This is horrible. <laughs> Well, so technically this is the kitchen. This is it. However, awesome. we want to do something different. This back here becomes the bathroom. This comes down, that door goes away, that window goes away. We put a freestanding tub under the new windows in the front, his and hers vanities across from each other, and then a toilet closet in that back corner. And then beside it, a walk-in shower. And then a walk-in closet here off of this little sitting room in the window here between your bedroom mm. and your gorgeous bathroom. Does it feel better now? It feels better. $40,000 purchase price, $150,000 renovation. So you'd be all in at 190. I think it'd be a nice, yeah. a nice house. This one's a lot more cottagey, and yes. the other one is a lot more Southern, which I know you guys were excited about right. Southern charm. Right. So what are you thinking? I like so, this one. You so like this, this one? one? Yes, you know, we can just follow that Laurel Brick Road. <laughs> yeah. Is this the one this that you one. want? <laughs> Wait, are you saying like you want, you're buying this house? I want to say yes. Yes? Okay. What? Yes. <laughs> They're going to buy the Hughes house. This is it. This is a huge deal. I like this mine. This is so exciting. So, this is exciting. Okay. Already made the decision. We could get the ball rolling a lot quicker than we thought. Let's do it. Let's get this show on the road. Starting without us? Yeah. Everything must go. All right, rock and roll. Let's do this. Yeah. It's time to completely destroy the Fakuda's house to make it better. We're going to tear it down and we're going to build it back. Even though there was a light above me. There was a light fixture. <laughs> Hi, Roman. Oh, let me get out of the way. I demoed the light fixture just so everybody knows. It's taken care of. I want to get those walls opened up so we can see the new kitchen. Yeah. Or at least see how the space is gonna feel. Follow the Laurel Brick Road. Yeah. Look, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. This has to come down because it's too close to the house anyway. And I had a thought, okay? Okay. We have to have a column between the kitchen and the den. You want to go all Middle Earth on What if we went totally Middle Earth and we cut the tree down and we had it dried, like with the bark on it and everything? Uh huh And we used it for the column between the rooms. It, it might take too long to have it dried, but... I don't know. I'd have to do some research. What kind of tree is it? I don't know. All right. I have an app for this. You do? Yeah. Here we go. Chinese parasol tree. Its robust sonic properties have led to its use in the soundboards of many Eastern instruments. Really? Interesting. It needs yeah. to go. It's too close to the house anyway. How about this? We have a fireplace. Sort of. I really am starting to love this house. It's hard to see. It's not really quite a house yet, but it's like getting there. It, it took a minute. Yeah, I love long it. time getting here. I love it. We've got studs up. We're ready for sheetrock. We've got HVAC. The electrical work that's being done and the Plumbing's plumbing. Done. All of the bones are here, and now we've got to start putting the meat on the bones. The school bus yellow is gone, except for right around the door. Because that's all going. Yeah, that's all going away. But the rod is gone. We've, we've fixed all of the siding. It's got the first coat of paint on it. The house is looking awesome. Ooh, is it gonna fit? Yep. 
I'm loving these khaki colors on the cabinets because she loves copper and earthy colors. Shire. Very Shire inspired. <laughs> and Shired by. And Shired. <laughs> Gosh! Yeah. Very Shired. You got it? Yep. Okay. Hang on, don't scratch it. This is very special. Did you make this? The, this is the Fakutas. Mm -hmm. They brought it from Oregon and they wanted a house with a fireplace so they could reuse it. Jeez. It looks awesome. Oh, no doubt, yeah. Whoever did it knew what they were doing. We're gonna do a uh, cement board around it. Okay. To be fire safe. Uh, we're gonna go right here under this window. Between two flowers. I like it. All right. Next one. It's such a treat for us when we work with someone who has this very specific and strong taste. The natural world, live edge furniture, rustic woods, kind of whimsical style like The Hobbit, and copper. Giving me all of that to play with made this house so easy to see exactly how it should look. Ready? <laughs> On the count of three, you look up, okay? One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the color. Yeah? I do. Good. I love the color. Oh, wow. Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is me. This is me. Yeah, Perfect. This is me. Oh, look That's at all that. I ever wanted this one to is say. Me. How Absolutely. about these leaves? You yes. have the yes. best yes. trees. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Wow. How beautiful. Look wow. at the mantle. How long Isn't have y'all had that in storage? Oh, a long time. But this is this is where it needed to be. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> wow. This is cool. Huge. This closet. is cool. Holy moly! This is huge! <laughs> Bring everything from Oregon and put it all in there. Look at this! Oh, wow! Kathy and Kathy sinks. <laughs> <laughs> hers and hers. Better than the kitchen, huh? Was the kitchen here? This was this it. This was the kitchen. Actually, this was like the breakfast nook. Wow, that's a big Look shower. Look at that shower. Yes. Yes. You're a happy boy. Oh, yes, I am. I love that towel. It the is shower towel, towel is amazing. Is way better than the kitchen yeah. you oh. had before. This was a nice trade off. It was a nice trade off. Absolutely, it is. Holy moly. <laughs> that, this house is thousands of times different than what it looked like before.